Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. And today I'm bringing to you a an amazing project that I absolutely adore. It's a man bandana. So this is a crocheted bandana for men. Obviously, if you um this can be for women too, um, but it is more of a masculine type of project and I absolutely adore it. I made it for my dad and I can't wait to send it to him for his birthday. His birthday is in June and I will obviously be releasing this tutorial um, after he gets his gift, but I'm really excited. It's a really easy project. And uh, like I said, it's a bandana and it's a square. So this is a simple square I'm trying to show you on camera. As always, the free pattern and all the photographs and everything will be available on my blog, selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the down bar. So check that out. And yeah, so this is um, kind of like a filet crochet um, project. Like I said, it's a square. Um, the exact dimensions will be referenced in the free pattern. As I said, so check that out. And for this, so this is a really, really easy project. Like I said, this is just row after row of um, double crochets with a lovely little um, pattern. Like I said, a filet crochet just to give it extra dimension. So when I am crocheting a man, like a more masculine project, I like to keep things simple, especially if I have my father in mind. He's quite a simple man, he doesn't like um, any any extra anything, so it has to be really simple and straightforward in the design. So yeah, so I did add like a single crochet border to just add to, to make the project look neater, but obviously I will be going through that step by step. You could add tassels. I almost added tassels to um, like the corners. However, I didn't do that because again, I know my dad just likes to keep things simple. But that's definitely something you could do. It would look really nice on this project. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So for this tutorial, I used four skeins of this yarn, which is Jeans Yarn by Lion Brand Yarns. I absolutely love this yarn. Um, it really does give like that um, rugged, um, at least this color, this rugged, like masculine, um, kind of um, vibe. I know my dad's gonna love it because he's a fan of Harley Davidson's and so I think he'll really enjoy wearing that you know on his bike. So anyways this is a 100 gram ball. I used four skeins and it comes in 246 yard skeins. It's considered a medium four um, yarn and I used shade classic so there are a lot of different shades for this um, for this yarn and I really loved this shade I actually the picture is really nice it does give an idea of all the different shades you can find in this um, this yarn I also used a five millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and that's it. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you to all my patrons on Patreon for supporting my work. I really appreciate you. And if you are interested in more feminine um, crochet content, um, I will be adding the link to my Patreon in the down bar. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Okay, so for this part of the project, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now you will be chaining um, 145 chains. So one, two, three. So I have chained less because I'm just going to demonstrate how to do this stitch. 
So now what you will be doing is counting one, two, three, and four chains from the hook, and you should be placing your first double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook. So to crochet your first double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that fourth chain, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops, take your yarn and pull through two loops. Now you will be placing another double crochet into the next stitch and another double crochet into the next stitch again and again and just place double crochets all the way along until you reach the end of this row. Okay, so for this is row one that we finished and now for row two we will be um, chaining four, one, two, three and four, turn your work and this um, chain four counts as your first double crochet and chain space and it goes with this first stitch here. So what we are going to be doing now is skipping the next stitch which is the second stitch here and going into the next stitch with a double crochet and that's the third stitch on the first row. So place a double crochet inside that third stitch. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into that. And you see this is what is going to be creating our filet crochet um, row. So now chain one, skip a stitch and go into the next stitch with a double crochet like so and you see the pattern continues chain one skip a stitch go into the next stitch and now chain one skip a stitch and go into the next stitch with a double crochet and this is also a um the chain three from the previous row so this is what you have now what you are going to be doing for the next row is chaining three, so one, two and three. Turn your work and this counts as your first double crochet which goes with this first stitch. Now we are going to be placing a double crochet into each and every stitch along this row including um, the chain spaces that we did so now you are going to be going into the next stitch which is a space with a double crochet and I usually go into the stitch and place a double crochet into that some people simply go into the space I hope that makes sense but this is how I do this so now you are going to go into the next um, stitch which is a double crochet and place a double crochet into that and go into the next chain space here with a double crochet and go into the next stitch with a double crochet and go into the next chain space with a double crochet and just so on and so forth until you reach the end of this row and so we are at the end of the row and we have the chain four from the previous row here. So this does count as two stitches, obviously it counts as a chain space. So you are going to be placing a double crochet into that. And also this counts as a double crochet. So you are going to be placing a double crochet into that stitch too. So this is what we have. And this um, last part here is quite crucial because you don't want to be missing any stitches. So make sure you have the right number of stitches. One way of doing this is to count, you know, at each row how many um, stitches you have. However, um, if it's quite a big project like this one, counting 143 um, each time can be a bit tedious, but you could still do that. Now, for the next row, this is going to be a repeat of row two. So chain four, one, 
two, three and four. Turn your work and this counts as a double crochet and chain space. And it goes with this first stitch here. Skip the second stitch and go into the third with a double crochet. Chain one. So you've chained one, you are going to be skipping the next stitch and going into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch and go into the next. Chain one and skip a stitch and go into the next stitch like so. And this is what this row will look like and you see it's just a repeat pattern it's very easy so now for row um, one two three four so for row five you are going to be chaining three one two and three turn your work and we are going to be um, repeating row three for this row so just go ahead and place, so this counts as your first double crochet and just go ahead and place a double crochet in this um, chain space here. Now place a double crochet into the next stitch, like so. And place a double crochet into the chain space. And again, you see the principle is very easy. It's super easy. So for this project, you will be repeating um, this, these two rows over and over. I'm just going to show you this row one last time. So this is a chain four from the previous row and of course counts as two stitches because this is a chain space and this is a double crochet. So just place your two last double crochets here. So you will be um, continuing this stitch. Okay, so just carry on repeating um, row two and three until you have 67 rows in total. So that's the number of rows I needed um, so that my project would be square. Once again, I will be writing on my free pattern available on my blog the exact dimensions of this project. So check that out. The link will be in the description box. And I'm just going to let you carry on this project and I'll get back to you to show you how to finish it off. Okay, so we've um, now finished our project, almost the square at least, and I'm really excited about how it looks. It looks so nice. I absolutely adore this stitch with this um, yarn. I'm really excited about it. So now what we are going to be doing is the border, and the border is really easy. It's going to be a single crochet border. So what I am going to be doing is attaching my yarn um, to the project because I did fasten off. I did create this project a few days ago and I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to do the border. So I did fasten off, but um, you don't have to fasten off. You can just um, create your border. Um, yeah, so now that you have your yarn, um, you will be chaining one and this doesn't count as a stitch so you are going to go back into that stitch with a single crochet so I'm just going to explain a single crochet right now so single crochets so to create your single crochet di go directly into that stitch and pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook and pull your yarn through two loops now go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you've got two loops on your hook and go through two loops. And as you can see, I am um, tidying up my loose end as I am going. So just carry this on, just place a single crochet all along this edge and then I'll get back to you once we've finished this side to show you the other side. Okay, so I've gone um, across this whole first row here and now I'm just going to turn my project um, to carry on this um, single crochet row. Obviously we want to go all the way around this project and this is what I call the wrong side of the stitches. So there are no... Um, 
stitches that you can go into specifically if that makes sense because obviously this is the side of the double crochets so what you are going to be doing so I've reached the top here and what I am going to be doing is going directly into um, any stitch really the next stitch here at the corner and place a single crochet then go into another um, space and place a single crochet and what I mean by this is try and space them as evenly as you possibly can and don't um, don't hesitate to place a lot of single crochets I'm just going to place another single crochet here I am tidying up my loose ends as I go along so please don't worry about that um, there we go so just place them as evenly as you possibly can um, to just have lots of single crochets on this side and create a lovely border. So just go ahead and place all your single crochets on this side and then turn your work and go onto the next side and then the next side and then once you've gone on all four sides once you've crocheted all four sides of this project I'll show you how to finish off this project okay so I've reached um, the beginning where we started and chained one I'm just gonna slip stitch through that chain to close off this um, this border I'm gonna fasten off so I'm just gonna snip off my yarn and pull through and this is what we have so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I absolutely love this project thank you so much for listening to this tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and comment and in the meantime I hope you have a lovely day